When working with meshes in OpenVSP or using a variety of applications, you might hear us talk about point clouds. And the way to get a point cloud in OpenVSP is to click on a mesh that you've either imported or created yourself, and then you have to click Convert to Point Cloud. And what this does is it creates this little copy and points. And for each vertex in this imported surface, a point will be created. And this cloud behaves in much the same way that, say, the mesh does. You can move it around in XYZ, you can change the attachment, you can change the scale factor. But there's very little control over this group of points itself. Think of these points as a fixed set of targets that let you manipulate your model in certain ways. Now, this point cloud came in with the same resolution as the mesh on which it's based. So when you're exporting things from, say, a CAD system or from, let's say, a CFD grid system, the points that come in will be right on every single vertex of the mesh. So if you're using CFD where you have millions and millions of points and you try and make a point cloud out of that, VSP is going to try and chances are it's going to fail. So be really smart about how you bring these points in. If you're trying to use a point cloud to say, fit something in VSP, you need to have a good mesh to begin with. So if you create an STL in CAD, for example, and you have very large, very choppy triangles on a surface, and then a bunch of really tiny triangles where you've got possibly a poorly defined feature line or something, the points are going to go there and it's going to be really rough and choppy. It's not going to be very effective in doing fit model or something like that in VSP. So pay attention to the quality of the grid that you bring inside VSP, and then you'll have a much better chance of using a point cloud to get what you want.